Hello, I will show you how to create an R package starting from a GitHub, uh, so it will be on GitHub, and also adding Travis uh, Continuous Integration Service to it. I won't go to in much details in making the package being able to be submitted to CRAN, uh, nor will I write any functions for it. It won't work, uh, like it won't be a full-fledged, fully tested, etc. package, but it allows you to have your package on a GitHub and that Travis will start to correct you. So the first thing to do is to start online. We're going to create a new repository and we're going to create it, we, we, I call the package temper because it's well it's a temporary R package for demonstrational purposes that I just use as a name, uh, names completely irrelevant. I like to add a, a readme. Of course we're going to ignore the R files that we should ignore and we're going to use the GNU General Public License version 3.0 because of course we're developing free Libre and open source software and there we have our repository. So that's nice. So the first thing I like to do, but you can change the order, is already tell Travis, so I'm already logged in, Sync, you synchronize your Travis account so it will be able to find the package yeah, so because that, that step takes some time to sync um, it can now already find temper all right so we because we'll be needing to activate Travis in a later step so while Travis is detecting this new freshly made github I'm going to clone this github git clone temper and there she is so she's now uh, this package it's github git uh, yeah, it's, it's on this computer what I will be doing now is a completely dirty workaround there are reasons why I do so. It has to do with uh, Linux, file dialogues and RStudio when they, that they hang and crash and so on or being very 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 slow. So I'm going to use a workaround. If you know a better way to do it and I'm pretty sure there is, please do so. All right, But I'm going to uh, move this, uh, uh, this, temper fol this temper folder to temper kit, just temporarily. Right, this is a dirty hack because I'm going to create an R package at this folder now. And then I will merge the files from both projects. Right, but temper git, that's where I will move the files to and I will rename it back in the end. Right. It's a dirty hack, but uh, well, it's the best uh, I can do at the moment. Uh, maybe it's fixed tomorrow, I'm unsure about that. So we're going to create a new package called temper. It's in a new directory. So although we, yes I know, but it's the workaround thing. And we call it temper, exactly the same folder where we want it to be in. And we've created an empty package called temper in the, my GitHub's folder. That's great. I'm just going to close it now. And I'm going to um, show you that at the moment I have two temper folders. So this is where the Git is in and this is the R project. I'm just ruthlessly going to put this thing in here. Alright, hop oh, there it is. I just moved it. The content of the R package, just put it there. Remove the old folder which is now empty. And now we have a folder that has both the git information and the R package. The name is still incorrect, so let's also fix that. Temper, let's rename it to back to temper. And now we have a fully fledged correct R package that's on the GitHub. Alright, so let's go into that temper folder and with git status it says hey, it detects there's a new package and I'm going to add it and so that it will be on GitHub. Uh, I've created package skeleton. skeleton. I'm going to push it. So probably you have to type in your username and password. I don't because I've set up my git as such that I don't need to do so anymore. So if you now go to GitHub and I'm going to look at the folders, that's great. So here is my packages there. All right, now um, I'm going to uh, well, I do I synchronize the account again just because well it's already done. So I'm now going to to Travis and I'm going to the temper page. So I could look it up in all my many 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 GitHubs, but I will be activating the repository already.
you need to do that because otherwise Travis won't look out if there's a change in your repository. So I've activated Temper now. Of course, there are no builds yet. Uh, I'm now going to open the package and I'm going to add Travis to it. And uh, you'll see that it won't be too much work. Uh, they, it's very easy thanks to DevTools. So I'm going to open my project called Temper. Temper, and there she is. It's a minimal package and doesn't do anything yet, but we're going to add Travis to it anyways. DevTools, use Travis. And there we have it. We've added, ju we've just added Travis. So it helpfully also opens up uh, a Travis itself. So I'll, I'll sign up with my GitHub and it takes me to the page that I already was on that page. So it doesn't matter too much. I just close one of them for the sake of doing it. Uh, and in the GitHub, it added some files. It added the Travis file. That's the most important thing. So we're going to push that to GitHub as well, so that Travis can start to work. Let go, Travis, and push it. And so on the GitHub, if I now refresh it again, you'll see that there is Travis. And if we go to Travis itself, it picked up the changes. You click, have to click on build history because that's where you'll uh, first see that something has happened. And now it will start doing its work. So Travis will find errors because the package simply doesn't work. If we go to build and if we're going to check things, then locally it will give errors. It will, there will be a bug in the problem in the description file because we didn't specify a license yet. But you can easily read those warnings for yourself both locally but also Travis in the end I'm not gonna wait for it in the end Travis will also find out that you should put a license in your description file and uh, you can uh, fix it there as well all right this is setting it up I hope you enjoyed the video video and I uh, wish you a great day with our uh, with the github or your package and Travis